Hi, it's Hayley from Parallel Coaching where we help you pass your exam first time and with absolute confidence. So today we are talking about flexion and extension because they are the two main joint actions you're going to need to know in relation to your level 2 and level 3 anatomy and physiology exam. So there is a real nice easy memory hack to help you just differentiate the difference between flexion and extension on each joint action that you might do. Now in flexion we are going to be in a fetal position. So you can use the F of flexion to remember that you're in a fetal position. So now let's draw out a fetal position. Fantastic. So your spine is in total flexion because you're curled right round. You're in the ab crunch position. Your hips are flexed because they're curled into the body. Your knees are flexed. Your shoulders are flexed and your elbows are flexed. So in this position, most of your major joints are all flexed. So fetal position equals flexion. Whereas in extension, we're using elongated as our word. So all of our joints are elongated when they are extended. Now the most elongated we can be is in that real nice neutral position. That starting point position when you're starting exercises. That get ready position. And that's when you've got an elongated spine. So it's all extended. You're standing totally upright. Your hips, your knees, your shoulders, your elbows. All of these major joints are elongated and you're standing in a neutral position. So this is my quick tip, E for extension and elongated, F for flexion and fetal, and that's a way of remembering whether you're talking about a joint that is in flexion or in extension. So if you have any questions or comments, please do pop them below. And also, if you could include in there any questions that you have relating to your anatomy and physiology exam, then I will endeavour to get some more videos across to you very shortly. If you are looking for any mock questions in relation to helping you pass your exam first time, then please see the link below and you will be able to access 101 mock questions to help you pass your level 3 anatomy and physiology exam first time.